Hello everyone and welcome to the UK Minifigure Collectors YouTube channel, the only channel that specialises in minifigures. Now today I'd like to show you these new Transformers minis that have actually released in, in discount shops like Pound Shop and, and things. These are actually in the UK at the moment and I do believe they were already released in the US. Like all Transformer products, the rights are actually owned by Hasbro, but the distribution rights were given to a company called Prexio Limited. That's P R. E X I O. Now this must be a new company because I've, I've not heard of them um, before but I do understand that they earlier released the G.I. Joe minifigure line which is pretty much the same sort of thing and hopefully I'll show a video of them later on. So if I just bring in a carded version um, you can take a look at the artwork. Now all, all the boxes are the same um, yeah, apart from the name obviously at the bottom uh, this one's Bumblebee and at the top it says Transformers obviously with the Decepticons it has the Decepticon alternate version writing on the back it has this awesome art print I, I remember this from when I was a kid actually really good uh, design and this is the company Prexio Limited uh, standard authentic Transformers product and on to a Decepticon version again you'll, you'll see that um, at the top where it's the Transformers in the uh, sort of alternate font um, again all, all exactly the same uh, same sort of card just a label at the bottom that said Soundwave which is different and a uh, label at the top everything on the back is exactly the same okay so let's get on with the figures so first up is Optimus Prime so looking at the detail on this, he's got his little uh, Autobot badge, nice little flex on it, it's actually a PVC rubber, it's actually quite a nice style, It, I mean with these you've got to remember they're only selling for a, a pound, so they're not the most detailed bits but they are literally classic G1 pieces. And Bumblebee, again with the Autobot badge on the front, nice little flexibility to his legs and things. He seems to be leaning forward, just a slight bit too much in my opinion. Again, a very good sculpt. I, I, I just love the way they've done these. It's nice and simplistic, really nice feel to them. And Grimlock. Now, I don't know why they did Grimlock in the dino version rather than the robot version, but I mean, I'm quite happy because I, I like uh, the dinosaur version. But a lot of people have been moaning saying, why did they do this in the dino version? I mean, it just kind of doesn't make sense. So next up is Megatron. Now one thing I will say, these don't have any articulation. Like I said before, they're a nice sort of PVC rubber material, but no articulation whatsoever. Yeah, you know, I really do like the way they've done these G1 sculpts, like so simplistic. It's a really, really nice feel to them. So next up we've got Soundwave, my favourite of all the Transformers. I think the blue and the silver really complement Soundwave really, really well. Now, one thing I have noticed is the hands are identical. Between the, the sort of five, not including Grimlock, because he only has two claws, they are identical. Now I love the way they haven't been like overcomplicated with the detail. It, it's like, you're going to pay a pound, you get a pound's worth of detail, and that is perfect for me. The last one... Is Starscream. This one is ha actually has just a slight bit more detail. I love the way he's just sort of uh, standing there frozen, and it really does remind me of the old Transformer decoys. And I don't know if you remember them, but they came with the Transformers. They were just like little um, purple eraser sort of uh, Transformers. Now, if I just do a quick size comparison with a muscle figure, you can see there's two centimeters, three centimeters difference between them both. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll let you take a close up look at the show reel. Thank you. 
So after speaking to some American friends, I actually found out these were released in 2019 over there, but 2021 here. But the American version were actually in sealed bags. Now, they weren't blind bagged or anything. You know, you could clearly see which character was in each bag. On the front of the packet, it would show you the character that was inside the packet. So it's kind of interesting that in the UK, we get the carded version, which I actually prefer. And I'm not really a, a, like the sort of person to keep hold of carded stuff but I actually like went out of my way to get two sets of these and I actually prefer them carded. One thing I will say about these Transformers is if you grew up in the 80s watching Transformers when it first launched you're going to have some serious love for these sculpts. I mean you don't really get many G1 sculpts nowadays and for me it is absolutely perfect. My son he, he sat and played with me at the table with the loose set that I've actually got and, and he actually adored them he thinks they're really good figures. Um, now sadly these aren't going to be around forever and unfortunately they are being scalped already. I've seen the prices rise to sort of three times the price of, of what you're actually paying in pound shop and toys for a pound. So if you want them go and grab them as soon as possible. Now with that I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to leave a like and I hope to catch you all again next time.